Hello, and welcome to the 14th installment of the Legend Comics vlog series. I'm your host, Gabriel Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics in comics, and that's the idea of comic books uh, being meta-commentaries on themselves and even breaking the fourth wall. I'm going to have a little visual representation today right over here. We should see one of my favorite comics of all time. That would be the original Transformers comic, issue number five. And now, if you look at uh, this cover, you'll you'll see one character, and that is uh, one of the the generals of the Decepticon army, Shockwave. And so, what he's doing is is he's there facing a wall. Or his body's facing a wall, but he's turning back towards you, the reader, with uh, his... Shockwave is known for, for his, his design, because he his head is just one big eye, and it's staring directly at you. And you can see uh, what he has done, that he's carved some kind of graffiti onto the wall. Uh, and the graffiti just says, are all dead. And then above that... Is, is the title of the comic, The Transformers. So when you read this whole thing sequentially, you, you come up with the phrase, the Transformers are all dead. Um, and, and I know explaining it to this detail is kind of ridiculous. I mean, you're there looking at it right now. You can, you can obviously see what's going on, but I find this, uh, this setup for this cover to be so fascinating. Um, because it takes Shockwave, who is supposed to be like a villain in and of himself, and the moment you pick up this cover, he gains a level of intimidation that, uh, that's hard to put your finger on, like, because he's telling you, the reader, that the Transformers are all dead. Um, so it gives you this sense of dread as the reader, even before you open up this comic, that Shockwave here has some type of extrasensory knowledge, some type of, like, looming threat that, that, I uh, just, you don't know how it could be stopped, or, or how it could affect the other characters in the story. And... The, uh, this idea, this four, fourth wall breaking, it, it's not unique to comic books at all. I think we can see it in, in just about every medium, whether it's books, movies, TV shows, even music. Um, but I think comics like to do it more frequently than a lot of those other mediums. I see it really often um, with creators like uh, Grant Morrison. He's, he's huge on this idea of fourth wall breaking. Um... And then also some other classic comic book covers uh, encapsulate this idea of, of breaking the fourth wall, meta-commentary. And I think that's a really interesting discussion of why it seems to be so popular and so easy to do this idea with comic books. I have a lot of theories myself. Uh, one of them that is worth pursuing is this notion of just how a story is told in a comic book. Um, is that because comic books are oftentimes defined by this idea of the page turn. So it can be a, a way to create feelings in the reader uh, to kind of almost even attack the reader. If there's something dangerous happening, like this shockwave cover, to flip the page and have, say, a character looking out of the page directly at you and maybe even say something at you. When this idea is done correctly, it can really enhance the narrative of a comic book, and, and I love seeing it played around with. Well, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, definitely going to be coming back with more videos more frequently, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, get out there, save the day, be superheroes. Oh, and if you have any instances of in comic books or in any medium, whatsoever your favorite example of breaking the fourth wall leave it in the comments i'd love to check it out and uh and chat back and forth with you about that anyways this is gabriel ryan and i'll see you later